Hello, my name is David Fuller, and I'm the grandson of Dr. Solomon Fuller and Mita Vo Warwick Fuller. And I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to represent the family on this historic day of the opening of the Fuller Middle School on the 26th of September. In the mid-90s, we were notified that uh, the town officials had voted to name the Flag Drive Middle School, the Fuller Middle School, after my grandparents. And uh, I remember my sister Pat said they had never come to that quick uh, conclusion of any topic that quickly. So it was unanimous. And the administration and the town officials said, yes, without a doubt, it should be named the Fuller Middle School. The family was, you know, ecstatic. And we all got together and decided that we would all try to attend that event. It was in the mid-90s, and we were in the auditorium because my siblings and I all went to that high school when it was the high school, Framingham South High School. And it was a great opportunity to see what the kids were doing and how excited they were in this renamed school that we were familiar with. I think the highlight for us was addressing the students and my father, Solomon, who was the son of my grandparents, obviously. He was able to talk to the students about his experience in Framingham and how the history and legacy of his parents should be passed on. And he asked the students, what is your legacy gonna be? I remember that very clearly. But my cousins were there, my brothers were there, my sister, and a lot of relatives were there in the auditorium on that historic day. And it was in the mid-90s, but it seemed like yesterday. My grandmother's artwork was on display in the library, and it was a dynamic presentation by the family. And uh, I believe these kids will never, ever forget that, because it was the first group of students that attended the new Fuller Middle School. And now here we are in a new building. When we heard that they were going to build a brand new building, of course, everybody was excited, but also had a little apprehension because we were so used to that building over there. And as I look at the building over there, which is being demolished, there were so many memories. Uh, but I think the main thing was that the family wanted the building to really impress upon people that the legacy of my grandparents and the mission of the new school would be something that they would always remember. So it's not just the building, it's what goes into the building. And I was confident that the staff, the faculty, the administration would do a great job with the kids because this is a very diversified school and there's a lot of kids that would never ever be able to see a, a brand new school like this in their lifetime. But guess what? It's happening, it's gonna be here, and they're part of that legacy. And I hope that my family and I continue to be supportive of the mission of the school, and I sincerely hope that my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren one day, will be able to come and visit the school on a regular basis. Uh, we're so proud. Words cannot even express how proud we are. And as you see, this building is majestic. And it's something that I know my grandparents would be proud of. One of the discussions that has been uh, talked about was how the community and the school can create a partnership. And one of the things that strikes me and so clearly is that my grandmother was so prominent in the community in support of the men and women during that time when as a African-American couple, it was not easy for them to live on Warren Road and to experience uh, a, a life of bliss because during that time, there was so much discrimination. However, they were overachievers in many, many ways, and brilliant in so many ways. But 
their greatest talent was community partnerships and the relationships that they developed with people in the community. And that really sustained them and nurtured them and fed them in so many ways. So to hear that this school is not only going to be a place of learning, but will be used as an opportunity for people in this community to enjoy not only this building, but a little of the historic content of the building is something that resonates to our family so clearly. Because that's what my grandmother really wanted, to have that connection with the community. As my father used to tell us, as you get older, and I'm there, one of the great joys of getting older is that you start to embrace people more. And you see the love and the humanity in more people as you get older. And you see things more clearly. And when I look back at my grandparents, they did that. They embraced not only professional careers, and they had wonderful careers that were international careers, but they embraced the Framingham community and developed those partnerships and relations. And to see that the community is going to take part in this building so clearly uh, shows me that that mission will be accomplished and that legacy will continue forever. One of the highlights uh, of the 26th in the opening will be a display, uh, I believe it's going to be in the foyer, uh, beginning of the building as you walk in. And uh, working with the committee that decided what would be appropriate to put in in a permanent basis. Uh, there's going to be some highlights of the career of my grandparents. There's going to be some artwork, uh, giving examples of the styles that my grandmother uh, used and made. Um, there's also going to be a new piece of art that my brother Mark, who's an artist, uh, an original piece, is going to be displayed and hung. And it's the uh, profile and caricature of our grandparents. And he did a wonderful job. And um, that's going to be a highlight. And that's going to be permanent. So then when people walk in uh, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, they'll be able to see that display. And it's user friendly for middle school students. The information on the, on the poster boards and the display talking about every child has an opportunity to excel and to believe in themselves. That's going to be the message. The highlights are important of what they achieved, but the message is clear. You can achieve the same thing if you work hard and do what you have to do to be a good student and especially be a good person. So that's going to be the emphasis and the direction of what we're trying to do for that display. And also to see these people of color, that when you walk in, you know that this building respected, identified, and truly embraced an African-American couple who were people that achieved despite all the obstacles and their legacy will be here forever. At this time, I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, is participating in this wonderful event. Um, the highlights on the 26th will be forever remembered. Uh, the family is so proud. And we thank everybody involved. There's too many people to name, but if you look at the building, you know a lot of people decided to work with us to make this thing happen. So we just want to thank you. We appreciate all the support. Thank you for the city of Framingham and everybody that uh, has an opportunity that has seen this today. And we thank you so much and enjoy. Hi, my name is Carrie Wood. I'm the principal of Fuller Middle School. And I'm here today to talk about a time capsule that we're going to be putting into the new Fuller Middle School to commemorate all the work that we did as we decided to build this building and all the things that were happening in history while we were doing this. In the Fuller Middle School time capsule, we're going to have a number of items. Last spring, we 
took a survey of students and asked them what they thought should be in there. Some of the things that they thought we should include were certain timeline items. So for example, the groundbreaking ceremony poster, because it really did commemorate a really important time in the building of the school. We also have a map of the school that shows the old Fuller Middle School as well, so that people 30 years from now will really understand better what actually existed in this space prior to that. The students also thought it was important that we include an historical piece because we're living through a very historical moment right now. So we have our Fuller Falcon face mask that represents what we're living through. An additional item that we're going to be including in the time capsule is information about the Fuller family. The Fuller family is extremely important to us at Fuller Middle School. So we want to make sure that we commemorate them and make sure that they're a part of this time capsule as they are a part of our school every day. We're still looking for some items to add to our time capsule at Fuller Middle School. If you have any suggestions or ideas of what we could add that we want people 30 years from now to see about our life now, take a look at the link below me and go ahead and make some submissions. Thank you. I want to thank you for taking this time with me. My name is Carrie Wood. I'm the principal of Fuller Middle School, and I hope that someday you'll be able to come and visit us and see this beautiful building, and hopefully some of the children who are in it learning and growing every day. Thank you.